Uneasy TV is in your ear. So play close attention. Relax. Let me ease your mind. Sit back and recline. Enjoy this ride. I'm about to get deep. You're now tuned in to Don Easy TV. Don Easy TV. So one of my fellow content creators asked me about how did I lose my virginity. So I'm like, I already did a video on that, but I, I got to stop saying that because a lot of my videos are old, you know, that I did. And it's good to do it now because I can do it story time. Yo, I'll never forget, man. I was in the 10th grade, man. Met this fine Brown skin, long hair. Oh, pretty girl, man. We were walking past each other. We caught eyes. And then somehow somebody told me that she liked me. And then I told them that I like her. Then I asked my friend. I asked my friend, Bull. I asked my homie, Bull. I said, man, what you think? How, how you think she looked, man? He said, she cool, man. She looked good, man. Because, you know, you had to make sure that your homies felt her because you didn't want to be clowned. They'll, be, they'll clown you. You know, they'll clown you. You know, they'll clown you talking about you got an ugly girl, man. <laughs> so anyway, we end up, you know, doing it like the old school way back then. We exchanged numbers. We wrote each other's numbers down. And, you know... We didn't with no cell phones back then. And then you know how it is back then. Once you feeling each other, you call each other at night and then you talk for hours. I talked to her for hours, fell asleep on the phone with her, all kind of stuff. Man. So I was telling her, oh man, let me forget what I was telling her. She was actually one of the first girls, not only that I lost my virginity to, she's one of the first girls that I tongue kissed. You know, I will watch movies and TV programs about how, you know, you will see them kissing against the lockers in high school and stuff. And so I finally had that high school moment. I'm in the high school level now. So, boom, I'm like, hey, we should kiss by the lockers. <laughs> We kissed at the lockers for the whole lunch break. And within that kissing, with that 30 minutes, man, one of the best feelings still to this time, man. I can remember how her tongue tastes. It tasted sweet like Skittles, man. <laughs> I don't know if she was eating candy that day or, man, that was so sensual. The, 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 little, the little feeling, the little feeling between your tongue and your lips oh man that was so beautiful now i'm thinking about it i'm reminiscing on it that was a beautiful moment man i'm glad i experienced that because uh you can't you can't i cannot compare that to nothing else god i've had many many <laughs> situations but i still remember that my first tongue kiss that's crazy as we as I'm saying it right here, it just hit me like that was probably the best to this day tongue kiss that I've ever done, man. I mean, because it was pure out of just straight teenage love, dude, like teenage love. So after we kissed for that whole 30 minutes, I said, yo, <laughs> We gonna have to uh, go back to my place. We gonna have to go to my place soon. I don't know when. And I want you to experience my water bed. She said, you got a water bed? I said, yeah. How you get a water bed? I said, because my mom's always told me if I got some good grades, I can get, you know, pretty much what I wanted. So I wanted a water bed. <laughs> and y'all like, why a water bed? Because, you know, as a kid, you know, you get in the water bed, you start floating on the water. It feel good. So I got me a water bed, man. Anyway, I think maybe like a week later, we ditched school and we went to my place. Well, my mother's place. <laughs> and, um, you know, got on the water bed, you know, kissed again, kissed again. And then, you know, we were both nervous. I don't know if it was her first time, but it was actually my first time. And I was nervous. 
and um, I didn't even know how to put the dang condom on, man. I didn't even know how to put the condom on, man. When I opened it up, I'm like, what is this? I ain't even know what a damn condom looked like, man. You know what I mean? You see it on on TV, but it didn't it looked different because it's not I don't know, it just looked weird. It looked like a balloon. It looked like a damn balloon. <laughs> I didn't know I was know if I was supposed to put this on. <laughs> So I put it on backwards and I finally put it on right. And then we finally did our thing the whole time missionary. <laughs> no other positions. And then they didn't teach you this. And um, they didn't teach us this in junior high school and high school that condoms bust. I did not know that. I thought condoms were bulletproof. I thought they were bulletproof, man. Because after I exploded, I kept on going. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't bust. So after we finished, everything was cool, and I hurried up, and I peeked my head out the door to make sure nobody was around to see her come out. And so, so we walk out the door, boom, out of nowhere, one of my neighbors, Mr. Williams, walking to his door. He see me. He's like, man, you know your mama, um, you, do your mama know you got company? I was like, yeah, Mr. Williams, she know I got company, you know, she was helping me with my homework and, you know, we studying for a test and everything. Yeah, she know I got company. And he kind of looked at me like, mm hmm. So I walk her to the bus stop. We get on the bus. You know, I walk her home. But on the way home. I'm scared, dude, because I know Mr. Williams is going to drop a dime on me. I know he's about to snitch on me. So I walk back home, you know, Oh, get off the bus, get home. And there go Mr. Williams by his door sitting on the AC. I'm like, oh, man, here he go. He was like, hey, man, I know you lying to me, but you better have used a condom. I said, yeah, I did, Mr. Williams. <laughs> He's like, all right, by you being honest right now, I ain't going to tell your mama. I was like, good looking out, Mr. Williams, man. Shout out to Mr. Williams, man, because my moms would have killed me knowing I had a girl in her place while she was at work. Woo! And that's not the only time, you know, we had a little situation. We had another little situation the second time. Let me tell you about the second time real quick. So it was on a Saturday night. i never forget it was a Saturday night. It was about like 7 o'clock at night. And she stayed maybe like two, two to three miles away. Not that far, man. I didn't, I'm not even that far. I say like a mile, maybe two miles away. But, you know, as a kid, that's far walking. So you like, I'm like, Mom. Can you take me to my girlfriend's house? And she's like, all right, son, cool. And she's like, how long you going to be there? I said, just a couple of hours. We're going to hang out. And she's like, all right, cool. So she take me over there. And before I walked out the door, she's like, hey, wait a minute. Is her parents home? I said, yeah, her parents home. She was like, well, I want to meet them. I said, that's cool. And I guess because I was so confident, she was like, nah, 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 just go ahead. Just go. I trust you. So, man. I get to my girl house and it's my first time going to her place. And of course, nobody was home. I don't know where her parents went, but they wasn't home. And we kicked it again. And oh, man, I used to love that girl, man. And we broke up over something so stupid. And man, shout out to her. It was definitely a stupid breakup, but I kind of wanted to break up with her because I ended up start liking another girl. But uh, um, um, yeah, that other girl wasn't feeling me, though. So I end up losing <laughs> both women at one time. Well, because, uh, you know, my ex-girlfriend dumped me and then my uh, <laughs> the girl who I wanted didn't even want me. So I was back single all the way to the 10th grade to the 12th. And then finally, I met my high school sweetheart in the 12th grade. So that's how I lost my virginity. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe, like, comment to Don Easy TV. Yeah.